Hi, I'm Crypto Lou and welcome to my channel. In this video today, I'm going to briefly cover what is Ethereum gas and how much gas you should be paying for your Ethereum transactions. A great site for this is ethgasstation.info and what I'll do is I'll take you through this site now. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today and if you do then please give me a thumbs up. It really helps me to grow my channel and understand what kind of content you enjoy. So for those of you who aren't aware what gas is, gas basically enables you to conduct any Ether transactions on the network. So the higher the gas price that you pay, the quicker the transaction will go through. However, it also does increase the transaction fees that you are paying. There isn't one specific good gas price as it does change depending on how many people are actually transacting through the network. You can change gas limits in the likes of my Ether wallet. Now I actually have done a full review and tutorial of my Ether wallet and what I'll do is I'll put it in the top right hand corner now so you can go through and take a look for yourself. It does go through and it does explain the fact that, you know, the network, when the network is really full, it will come up, but it'll also give you an opportunity to be able to amend the different types of gas that you're paying. You can also change the gas limits in Ether Delta, and you can change the gas price in Ether Delta to move things around in terms of moving from a wallet into your smart contracts and make those transactions go through quicker. So what essentially the ETH gas station is allowing you to do is have a better understanding of how much gas you actually need to pay to get your transactions through as quick as possible. So first up, just having a look at the dashboard here or the main page that I'm currently on at the moment. What you can first of all do is change your currency. So within this drop down, if you'd like to see things in euros, GBP, then you can go through and you can change those in this section. I'm going to keep that at US dollars for the moment. So first up in the header section here, you have the standard cost, which is at uh, 0.02 dollars at the moment. So it's pretty low at the moment. You know, if you compare this to the likes of Bitcoin transaction fees, it's very low at the moment. You then have um, the standard price. So that's kind of an average price that people have been paying to actually get that cost. Then the next section that you have is the recommended amount um, that you should pay and the recommended um, gas price that you should pay in here as well. You then have the medium wait time and you have the a medium amount of blocks that you've got to wait until your transaction then will go through. And then you have this slider that allows you to change the amount of um, confirmation time and it will tell you how much gas you actually need to pay to get things through at a quicker pace. Now, one thing to mention in here is if the recommended gas price was set to four, it won't actually show anything less than that four on this slider. However, because we're at one, it kind of skews things out a little bit in the fact that that minimum is at one. However, what we'll just do is take that slider across. If we wanted to get this through in, you know, under 60 seconds, we then need to be looking at something around a gas price of eight guay. Now, the really important part in here is that average time of how quickly things will go through. You will find at busier periods that just changing that gas price by one will actually adjust that time by quite a lot. It then shows you other information with regards to a real-time gas usage. It tells you the recommended gas prices. It gives you an idea of the transaction count by gas price and the confirmation time by gas price as well. So the site is pretty much self-explanatory, but I wanted to go through and show you that this site is available. It's really handy when you are trying to get an idea of how quickly transaction will go through on the Ethereum network just by adjusting that gas price. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like. If you want to see more tips, reviews, or tutorials, then please hit subscribe. And if you have any questions with regards to ethgasstation.info, please feel free to put them in the comments below. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.